I was on my way to uh, Philippines, a stopover in Abu Dhabi for eight hours between two flights. I take a taxi, I, I listen to a, a, a song. I thought it was a song at the time. And I said to the taxi, uh, what is this song? It really touched my heart. And he stopped the car. He said, brother, it's not a song. It's the Quran. And he started to warn me immediately. He said, brother, uh, if you want to save yourself from the hellfire, save yourself and your family, become Muslim. He invited you. Directly. And this is the best dawah you can do to someone. If you have only two minutes, you don't have the time you know, to establish. So uh, at the time, I he, said... He saw, you inf he saw you influenced. Yeah, he, we, we talked a little bit. He, I think he liked me and he said, you're a good man. Please save yourself from the hellfire and your family. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Nobody's going to hellfire here. Just chill, you know. And he said to me, <laughs> promise me you're going to read the Quran. And I said, yes, but you know, at the time I thought... And, uh, and I told him at the, at, the, at the time I was kind of this new age thinking guy, like uh, God is too big for one religion, you know, so God cannot choose only one religion. All religions are good, it's different way of understanding. So I told him, promise me you're going to check this website. Ultimately, a few years down the line, I, I read the Quran, I became Muslim. And, but uh, this is a big, uh, that was the biggest uh, story. I think it's this man, he was, I think, mm -hmm. Pakistani. I really, I mean, may Allah bless him and puts a lot of rewards on his scale because uh, that's what every Muslim should do, you know, and we, we, are, we are claiming we're one billion people, but um, now we are talking about this coronavirus a lot, but the biggest virus in the world is the shirk, mm. you know? Like, the coronavirus affects you, your body, right? And you can die, but people don't realize they're already dead spiritually for the next life, you know? Mm. So the same way, Sorry, I'm just jumping over the wagon because uh, you know, time is short, but the message I want to send to people is like, if you have urgency for stopping the, this, this virus, what about us people, non-Muslim? Mm. We have five billions on our way to die. They need to be rescued. Yes, and this mm. is a much bigger priority. The only thing is, yes, it's not be because we don't see the hellfire, we don't see the, the day of judgment, but why the Muslim, we are not taking the same, if not bigger, aggressive approach to this massive 